Morning guys, Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunner, out here this morning with my SIG ASP20, my personal favorite brake barrel. I'm here today to answer some questions that I've got from you guys regarding brake barrels and maximum hunting range and also brake barrels and their usability with slugs. So if you want to know about that stuff or if you just want to see a cool video with an air gun, stay tuned and check it out. All right, guys, so I've had some people commenting, asking, can I use slugs in a brake barrel? Will they work? And the answer with the SIG ASP20 and the H&N 21 grain slugs, in my opinion, is yes. But stay tuned and we'll see if that is something that you guys agree with. And you know something else that's been really popular lately that actually works pretty dang awesome out of the ASP20 are the Hades pellets, the JSB Hades. Those are an excellent choice for a hunting pellet so being that we've got a slug and a Hades, two great hunting pellets, I thought let's go ahead and let's see what is the really maximum usable hunting range for a brake barrel like this. We've got two great hunting pellets. Now let's stretch it out and let's see, can we take targets at varying ranges ethically with a brake barrel. So what I'm gonna do is I've got some knockdown targets, some gamo knockdown targets. I'm gonna place them at four different ranges. We'll place one at 25 yards. That should be pretty obvious. We'll stretch it out then to 40 yards. Then we're going to go out to 60 yards. And then we're going to go all the way out to 75 yards. And we're going to see, can a brake barrel get the job done? And which ammo option is best? Slugs? Hades? I don't know, guys. Stay tuned and let's go get it done. So I've got my targets all set up out here. I've got a squirrel at 25, rabbit at 40, I've got a crow out there at 60 yards and another squirrel all the way out there at 75. We're going to see how effective the brake barrel can be and also check out some of these really awesome new ammo selections that I know everybody's super stoked about. So here we go. Let's get it started with the Hades and the 25 yard target. All right, there it is. One shot, first target down with the Hades. Super easy. Let's move on to the rabbit. <laughs> that was so awesome. One shot, got the rabbit. All right, now let's go on for the crow. Yes! <laughs> I got the crow in one shot. Woo! That is so awesome. All right guys, so all the way out to 60 yards, this thing is proving to be very accurate with the Hades. Super accurate. All right, here we go. Now we got one last squirrel, 75 yards. Can it be done? <laughs> I saw where I hit. It was right next to the kill zone. Oh, all right. Here we go. Whew. Oh, so close. Only got two more shots and the wind just died down. So I need to adjust my hold just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Oh, over it. Mm. Okay, guys, 75 yards is proven to be maybe the limit for these Hades. Got it! Yes! 75 yards! Woo! <laughs> all right, guys, it took me all four shots to get it, but it's because I had to figure out kind of where my hold was at 75 yards. It definitely wasn't because of the rifle. It was really just because of me. I actually had to hold three dots over. I was thinking I'd have to hold two dots over. So 75 yards, definitely still accurate. We're using hunting pellets, guys, so I'm pretty sure this would have what it would take to be an ethical hunter at that range with these Hades. All right, guys, let's reset the course and start over with the H&N slugs. Bam. 
One shot, 25 yards, right on target. Let's go ahead and see what we can do at the rabbit now, 40 yards. Got him, yes! Again guys, one shot, perfect, got the rabbit, nice and easy. Now let's go ahead and see if we can get the crow. Got it! One shot! Bam! Got the crow! Yes! Alright guys, here we go. 75 yard squirrel. Here we go. Bam! 75 yards! <laughs> One shot got the squirrel. Alright you guys, I, I hope that that proves the point. I hope that really proves the point. These slugs, they're working out of this brake barrel for whatever reason. So, the, man, oh, that got my heart pumping. It's so much fun to see those knockdowns flop. And it is so much fun knowing that I've got that kind of accuracy with these hunting options here. We've got the Hades and the slugs. Both of those would make awesome small game hunting pellets or slugs. And guys, that's it. What fun. I'm Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunner, out here with my SIG ASP-20, a Hawk Air Max piece of glass, some great hunting options as far as ammo, and we are knocking down targets all the way out to 75 yards. I'm outdoors having a whole lot of fun with my air guns. I hope that you guys are too. See you in the next video.